Hi, you're watching Photo Learningism. I'm Nate. Wanted to cover tonight the top four website hosts to get you started on either a new or your first website. And I'll show a couple different skill levels depending on where you're trying to get to. So let's get started. Okay, so just to get right into it here, Squarespace, top of the stack. They do offer a free trial, but there are no free versions of this. Uh, coming with that, you do get support included with these plans, which could be a really beneficial thing. You do get support with other clients as well, with other services. But this one I hear a lot of good things about. I hear it plugged very frequently in the DIY community. I think it's worth checking out or at least trying the free trial. I can't lose on that. Um, they do base themselves on templates. They have online store capabilities. They have a lot of really cool things uh, that are worth checking out and uh, taking a quick peek at, even if it's just a free trial so you can get a good sense of what that is. I think that it doesn't really have so much that template look to it that used to plague these different sites. So give Squarespace a check out. Could be a good place to begin if you're looking particularly for something that's a no code point and click or what used to be called WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get type of interface. So I would uh, recommend checking that out. Option number two is Wix. You probably hear that one plugged a lot too. There are more plan options for this, which give you varying things. Uh, one of the benefits of doing this particular one is that there actually is a free version that you can try out. Typically that includes advertising, banners on the top and the bottom. If you can live with that, hey, you get a website hosted for free that you can customize as you, uh, you know, not to your heart's content, but uh, I almost caught myself there, but to a, a certain degree. So you could actually get an online presence set up for free um, and they will give you a typically a subdomain of Wix to get you started. It won't be whatever you want.com. It would be something like whatever you want.wix.com, something like that. Um, so you can give that a try um, or try out the paid options, but it's another very prominent place to begin. Uh, they do a lot of work to make it easy for you. It's again, another one of those uh, point and click type interfaces and templates and, and online store and all those features that you'd expect coming out of the box. Um, so option number two, worth checking out as an alternate. And again, there's a free choice for that. Choice number three, a lot of you have heard of this, is WordPress. Again, a free version. Can't argue with free. Really like free. Uh, I have personally tried this out. Um, there is a wonderful degree of customization you can get into if you want to try your hand at doing some HTML customization. Um, the more you dig into the paid plans, the more control you get over that, if that's important to you, the more features as well. Um, with the free version, you get forum support, and typically the, the moderators in WordPress will look at those. So I, I actually had to try that, and I was pleasantly surprised that they responded fairly quickly to those. So the free is a good place to start. Again, point and click if you'd rather do that type of setup, but another great place to begin to get a website. You can get a subdomain, something.wordpress.com. Um, give it a try great place to begin. The last one I'll mention, this is kind of, I'm growing up the echelon of skills here, is uh, SharePoint hosting. And there's a great company out there called Apps for Rent that offers it varying plans. This, you really got to do a lot of the grunt work yourself. But the benefit of that is if you have an aptitude for it and you perhaps already have the knowledge, this is running on ASP and it's running um, on a lot of other things you can throw in there, whether HTML is your game or JavaScript or whatever, you can build pages inside of this and make it whatever you want. You can rely on the SharePoint list technology to bring out the parts as you like, to display custom views and things. There's a lot of really neat things you can do, but you have to have your hands in the code to do that. So this is an example. I actually built my site based on SharePoint. It's worked out really well for the most part. There are some shortcomings. Uh, you have to do everything and anything yourself. There's no click and set it up. There's no uh, one-stop shop for all this stuff. You have to do all the work yourself. But the benefit of that is that you get exactly what you want. There are no limitations here uh, except your own imagination. So that's why I would suggest that as kind of the other end of the spectrum where we start with 
the Squarespace and the Wix where everything is very easy and laid out for you working your way through WordPress where you have some manual control if you really want that and then getting into this kind of the SharePoint idea where you could really build this out if you wanted to. Again, this site I had to construct from scratch and, and work on and make it as I wanted to, but the benefit is that you can do anything you want to. So, hope that's helpful to you, the top four website hosts as a place to begin your website. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos. Come subscribe, come connect. Look forward to seeing you in the other videos. Thanks.